Tomo News presents Thanksgiving. Black Friday brawls across USA. Holiday brings people together. The day after Thanksgiving, infamously known as Black Friday, is the biggest shopping day of the year. People line up to get first dibs on markdown products while they finish digesting their turkey dinner. Sometimes, customers get a little riled up, and they beat up, trample, or kill their fellow shoppers. This year at Mall St. Matthews in Louisville, Kentucky, two guys decided to wrestle in the middle of a crowded mall, as is tradition. Bystanders watched, filmed, and one of them even tried to get in on the action, until security stepped in. This video, posted to Twitter, shows the mayhem ensue. It's unclear what the men were fighting about, but we can only guess that one of them bought the last cheap plastic crap on Earth, and the other guy's wife is going to leave him if she doesn't unwrap that special something on Christmas Eve. What could be more important during the holiday season than rabidly vying with your fellow consumer for the best sale prices on all the hottest new gadgets and gizmos? Another Black Friday throwdown was caught on camera at a different Kentucky mall. In both of the clips, the person recording gives a shout out to WorldStar, a website that puts out monthly street fighting compilation videos. Our founding fathers would surely be proud of our great American tradition that includes great deals for all and black eyes for some. And the hits just keep on coming, like this footage from Texas where a mob of people struggle to find meaning in their lives by getting a killer deal on a flat screen TV. Happy Holidays. Grandma texts wrong number about Thanksgiving, still invites teen. Like many of us have experienced, 17-year-old Jamal Hinton started receiving text messages from a wrong number. But rather than just move on, he decided to try to make a connection instead with the sweet grandmother who misdialed him. Earlier this week, Jamal found himself looped into a group chat, getting texts from an unknown number about Thanksgiving dinner. When he asked who it was, the person replied, your grandma. When he asked for a picture, the woman sent him a selfie of her while she was at work. Jamal quickly realized it wasn't his grandma, but decided to have some fun with the mix-up and sent her a selfie too. He then took things a step further, boldly asking if he could still have a plate at her family Thanksgiving meal. In classic grandma style, she replied, of course you can, that's what grandmas do, feed everyone. What a nice lady. The woman, Grandma Wanda, was actually trying to reach her grandson, Brandon. Now he, his girlfriend, and Grandma Wanda are talking with Jamal about actually having him over for Thanksgiving dinner at their Arizona home. He's easily the coolest tag-along guest at anybody's Thanksgiving this year. Unfortunately for Grandma Wanda, when screenshots of the exchange began circulating on Twitter, her phone started blowing up with random requests for seats at her dinner table, so she had to have her number changed. Sorry, Internet. There's only room for one more. God bless you, Grandma. Dog missing for a year reunites with family at Thanksgiving. This German Shepherd mix, Ruby, had the best Thanksgiving of all. In October 2015, Ruby went missing. Only seven months old at the time, the puppy's owners say a neighbor had left the gate open. The couple posted flyers around the neighborhood, searching everywhere for their lost dog, but there was no trace of her. The wife, Zana, was eight months pregnant, and she and her husband Val inevitably had to refocus their attention on their new baby. Over a year later, Zana was scrolling through photos on a Sacramento Animal Shelter's Facebook page when she spotted a familiar face. Upon closer inspection, the resemblance was unmistakable. They could tell by the way she turned her head that was their girl, Ruby. The couple immediately ran to pick her up, and just in time for Thanksgiving, the family reunion was complete. A newborn baby and their young canine companion in tow Zana and Val have never had so much to be grateful for. Black Friday mugger kicks bomb with baby. While armies of bargain hunters were choking and stabbing each other for cut price goods on Black Friday, this guy was out in the street looking for soft targets. Police have released a mugshot of the man, 18-year-old Alonzo Black, who was suspected of a brutal attack in the Bronx last Friday on the 24-year-old mother of a three-month-old child. Surveillance camera footage shows the suspect walking past a woman talking on the phone 
and carrying shopping bags here on East Tremont Avenue near Bronx Park Avenue. The mugger glances back before quickly surveying the scene and charging headlong at her. As the 24-year-old walks down the sidewalk, he approaches, darts forward, and kicks her from behind. The attacker runs off with her phone as she rides in pain on the pavement. What the video doesn't clearly show, however, is the infant strapped to her chest. The mother managed to protect the child from hitting the concrete as she fell to the ground. Both were treated for minor injuries and are okay. The suspected phone thief, who's already clocked up 11 arrests, remains at large. NMA celebrates Black Friday History Month! Every year at Thanksgiving, we commemorate that first dinner back in 16 aught dickety when the ignorant pilgrims gorged themselves on Indian biscuits and gravy. But what about the first ever Black Friday? Those brave settlers in a wild land, peopled by naught but charitable pagan savages, did then brave crowded stables and trampling hooves to save a few shillings on new vestments and curatives. It was a harrowed time where none but the hardiest souls could endure the butter churn sales and wage battle most grim for specials on items usually left fallow in more lavish times. <laughs> Centuries later, in an era marked by great division in our nation's history, families still came together to fight over deals on crap they didn't really need and had nowhere whence to put since General Grant burnt it all down anyway. Even into the Great Depression, Americans still honored Black Friday tradition after giving thanks for cream of gristle and logged ham. In our modern Black Fridays, what with the 4K plasma screen toilets and the X-Cube stations compare with the bleak blackness of Friday's yore? Refund your dinner in the comments! California bill proposes retail workers get paid double on Thanksgiving. Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez is trying to make big retailers pay their workers double time. When they're asked or told to work over the Thanksgiving weekend, a time for family. While most families get to be together sitting around the table and preparing to feast, many retail workers are caught at the mercy of sales-driven consumer mania, known as Black Friday. Working at regular pay rates offers no incentive to suit up on Thanksgiving, but many are afraid of what might happen if they don't work. These people probably have families they'd like to be with too. But Gonzalez says some of these employers threaten to fire staff who try to take the holiday off. Thanksgiving has been ruined for enough of these retail workers. But if the double pay on the Holiday Act gets passed, major retailers with at least 500 employees and at least 10 stores in the state will finally be forced to offer their workers a decent carrot on the end of that corporate string. Happy Gobble Gobble Day from the Taiwanese Animators.